Hi guys, welcome to our channel, Early Educators. So, if you have questions like, you know, how should I choose the, my, the right university? What kind of master's program should I choose? Should I do a master's or should I look for a master's plus PhD program? You have come to the right place. In this video, I'll discuss the various factors that you have to think about so that you can make the right decision of choosing what universities to apply for. I'll also discuss how you can how you can search for these universities and then finally how you can shortlist it. Uh, at the end, I'll also give a brief about the uh, top universities related to HCI. In order to choose the right university, there are a few steps that you need to follow, few questions that you need to answer for yourself. So the first thing, what is your domain? Uh, what is your purpose? Like, why are you choosing this master's? Are you looking for a transition or, you, or are you looking for getting deep into one specific field? Uh, this will help you understand whether you want a beginner level uh, master's program, like something, suppose you're transi transitioning to a UX field uh, from, let's say, computer science. You would want to look at programs which offer uh, basic courses, like which offer foundational courses for user experience design. Compared to when you're looking for uh, specialization in a specific field, you might look for courses that are really specific to that field that go into depth and are advanced courses. You really have to think about what subject that you want to take, like uh, broadly whether it is uh, whether it is going to be under computer science, under human computer interaction, under user experience, or any other specific domain that you might have in mind, because this will help uh, help you to look for labs and look for courses that are specific to uh, what you're interested in. So look for what what is your passion and which subject do you really want to pursue in your masters. So for me personally, it was a shift to UX research from UX design. So I wanted to look for courses that provided me with a diverse set of options where I could do UX research as well as understand a bit about data and perform quantitative research. So that's how I kind of shortlisted my university. So second, once you have identified your domain, the next part is to identify what your goal is. Like, what do you want as an outcome of this master's program? First thing, uh, if you want to look for a job, like if your main motivation of doing a master's is to get a job in that particular country, then maybe your best uh, shot would be to look at professional programs. So uh, there are one year and two year uh, programs available for masters, both in US, Canada, and also in Europe. So you'll have to think a little bit about how much investment you want to make, whether you want to invest one year or do you want to invest lo longer, like two years for the program. How much do you want to get out of it? If you're looking for a good job at the end, the course that you're taking should inculcate uh, opportunities like having an internship or having a project with uh, someone in the industry, uh, some kind of capstone project, something like that. Also, if, you're, uh, if your purpose is uh, to get a good job in a specific field, uh, you might have to look at the location of the university, see what kind of job market is available in that particular uh, location. So for example, if you're applying to University of Toronto, you, you might want to look at what kind of industries um, Toronto as a city offers. Like I'm aware of a lot of opportunities related to computer science, related to user experience design and UX research. Uh, but there might be fewer opportunities in, let's say, mechanical industry or let's say chemical industry. So you'll have to explore those options based on the location on which you are applying. Uh, uh, let's say your uh, goal is not uh, doing a job after your master's. Let's say you want to do more research. Your um, your outcome for, from a master's program is to help you decide whether you want to do a PhD or not. In such cases, I would advise that you look for research-based programs. So there are programs that focus on uh, academic research. They are thesis-based programs, and they involve very few courses. So that might be a really good option, because then you'll get to work with a professor, you'll get his recommendation for further PhD, and you'll also see what academic research actually looks like. So if you're looking for a PhD, I would also advise to look for MS plus PhD options. In these programs, you opt for an MS plus PhD. And if you are if you are not willing to continue your PhD, you can also drop out with a master's degree. So even at uh, U of T, there are certain uh, programs which uh, in which if you apply for a PhD, you can drop out with a master's degree. 
so you'll have to contact the uh, university or the program in specific to ask if they have such an option so the third point uh look, what are your financial constraints so when you're applying for university when you're shortlisting these universities you really need to think about what financial constraints you might have like are you willing to uh, go to a really expensive university in the us and you expect that after graduating you'll probably get a really good job and you'll be able to repay all that loan that you've taken then maybe you uh, maybe a top university like cmu at uh, in the us is a good option for you if you're looking for scholarships and uh, looking for cheaper options as an international student um, uh, cheaper options might be towards europe and even canada like uh, i would suggest it's canada is cheaper than us but it's still not the cheapest option and looking for scholarships as an international student is really difficult so just start looking early for uh, scholarship opportunities um think about what your budget is how much you are willing to pay for a uh, masters education how many years are you willing to invest that amount and when is it the earliest that you can get a return out of it so thinking of these things maybe uh, concerning to hci there are few universities in europe like tu delft is a very good university for industrial design and for product design looking at uh, universities of canada if you're interested so university of toronto and university of waterloo are really good options for hci and user experience design uh, i would really suggest that you go in and study about these programs see if it is what you are really looking for and uh, for u of t in general i can talk about the ux design program because i have been in it since one year uh, if you are uh, an someone who is looking to shift to a ux field or someone who has already prior experience um in in ux working in ux or in education in ux i would suggest the program is good for both candidates it offers opportunities for you to research with professors and to also uh, take courses from data take courses from related to python so uh, depending on what you want to do you can there, there's a wide range of electives that you can choose from in the first semester you have courses where you do projects hands on in a team and you build uh, so you build these projects from scratch like you conduct the user interviews you take you build the designs and you conduct usability testing so you get like an end to end project that you can use in your portfolio and it's also a good learning opportunity so these things happen there are industry leaders that come and give talks um also during the courses there are uh, like there are guest lectures from industry professionals from different uh, lectures from professors across universities so i feel like uh, since it's a professional program it has good amount of exposure uh, in the industry and it also offers co-op option which is like a four month internship and you can also take two internships so you can do a total of eight month of internship period uh, which is really good if you're looking for a job later it is a good option because you get experience um, working in canada and you might also get a call back from the same company to come and work full time for you i can talk more detail about university of toronto if you are interested just let me know in the comment section and i'll uh, get into more detail in my upcoming videos with this i just want to conclude this video i'll be uh, uploading more videos related to how you can structure a sheet to like list all the universities and like have all these different tabs of requirements and how you can shortlist these universities what are the what are the factors that you can list in a google sheet which will help you filter these better so that i will uh, go into more detail in my next video i'm still working on that sheet right now if you are in your early process of applying for a masters or phd program i would suggest start early because this entire process of uh, researching universities researching their courses coming up with a short list of universities that you want to apply for takes time it might take any anywhere between 1 to 2 months for you to do all this background research 
also after doing this you will get to know what your application requirements are what kind of exams you need to give in order to be eligible um, for applying to this university so then you can plan better when to take these exams and how uh, and how to prepare your application appropriate to each university also i would like to give a quick tip when you are researching these uh, universities um, if you know what domain you are looking for just type in uh, top us universities in that particular domain or top canada universities in that particular domain then uh, you might be directed to the exact uh, website of that particular department because uh, going to a university's website and then looking for a department and seeing what courses they offer and what programs they offer is really difficult because these websites are like very huge and it might you might get lost in the website and finding one particular program is very difficult so that's it for this video guys thank you for listening and let me know what topics uh, you want me to make videos on or if you want me to dive deep into university of toronto in specific uh, please mention in the comment section and don't forget to like subscribe and please please press the bell icon because unless you press the bell icon you'll not be notified of uh, of the videos we make next uh, so thank you for listening hope to see you soon bye bye